super durable. Got one, got one, got one. Yes, oh gosh. Hey y'all, today the plan is simple. We're taking the all new burrow bug for mule fishing and we're gonna go catch some fish. So this is the all new burrow bug for mule fishing. It's a cross off plastic. It's 1.8 inches and I cannot wait to rig this up and fish it. Just like all their other plastics, super durable, high stretch. The craws have this paddle at the end and it's got the usual craw appendages. So we're gonna rig this up and we're gonna start fishing it. So rigging it up is pretty straightforward. We're gonna rig it with the hookup. I wanna have the lighter side facing down and see where it comes out right around there. Look at that, that looks so good. And that's gonna sit like that in the water. It's gonna be beautiful. This is a 132nd ounce mule jig. It's a purple mule jig. And this is one of the new colors that Mule Fishing came out with, the Rodeo Clown. It looks really sick, I like it. So far, I like the way it looks in the water. The way it slowly flutters down. That's so sick. Just gotta get it in front of a fish. Yeah, the water's really high compared to the last time I was out here. Got one, got one, got something. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, first fish on the burrow bug is a bluegill. Look at that thing. I felt a slight nibble nibble, saw my line jump, and I knew I had a fish, so let's get you unhooked. Nice one, nice little bluegill. Let's see if we can upgrade. As much as I like this new rodeo clown color, we're gonna swap it out for the old black and blue, which is a brand new color that Mule Fishing hasn't put out in any lure. The goal is to make it a little bit more visible for them in the water, given how chocolatey the water is. So let's give this guy a go. Oh gosh, I see one right there. Let's see if he's gonna have an issue with me doing this. Just like that, I think he swam away. Oh no, he's still there. Is he still there? No, he's gone. Interesting. There's a decent sized bass right here, just chilling in this little spot. If I would have seen him before I came in here, I would have tried to, I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have done this. Oh yeah, that black and, that black and blue is way visible. Let's see if we can get a bite. Got one. Yes. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He's got some fight in him. He's got some good fight in him. Heck yeah. Yeah. Dude. Nice little chunky bass. Man, he's got some sharp teeth. Look at him. Nice, long, good size one. His teeth feel like sandpaper. This is a good size bass. Heck yeah. All right, it's a nice little half pounder. We're gonna put him back right in the water. There he goes. I don't know if it was the color change, but man, that happened pretty, pretty quick. Let's see, Let's see if we can get another one. Got him, got him. Oh gosh, he's a big one too. Oh gosh, whoo, this might've been a mistake. Oh gosh. Oh man. I thought he was a big and he was just heavy because he was in all that gunk. Another one. Another one of these little chunky boys. Let's get him up. Ugh. Ooh, he's heavy. Man, he got all these sticks and stuff with him. I literally brought up a stick. Come on. Look at him. He swallowed that thing. Heck yeah. This is why I upgraded my line. Because I knew I'd be fishing in all this. Normally, I run this setup. It's eight pound braid, 
with uh, two pound mono. Uh, I upgraded the leader to six pound because I knew I'd be getting these fish out of some heavy, heavy cover. This dude is thick. We're gonna put him back. There he goes. That's number three, second bass. Third fish. They are liking this color combination for sure. Oh gosh, that was a good one. Daggum, did I get the hook in them? I don't think I got the hook in them at all. Yeah, no, look at that. I hooked the, the, uh, the crawl, my crawl's all jacked up. that time yep 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 oh yeah baby yes little dink but hey we'll take them nice nice bass beautiful guy this seems to be what we're catching with this thing which i had a feeling with the much larger profile it would be bass and more aggressive and ambitious bluegill all right, there we go. We're gonna put him back here in the water. Let him swim off. There he goes. That was number four on the day, third bass. Man, this thing is killer. I can't wait till these bass are on beds because this thing is gonna be ridiculous. Got him. Bluegill, hey, another bluegill. Aggressive little buggers, ambitious. Look at them. How are you planning on getting that in your mouth, huh? Thing barely fits. That thing barely fit in your mouth, bro. Yes, another bluegill. This is one of them bigger boys, the cool ones with the vertical bars going on them. Nice. There we go. Nice little guy. Let's put him back. I thought he was a bass. If I knew he was a bluegill, I would have yanked on him so hard. I also thought he might have been that turtle because there was a turtle just chilling right there where my lure was, and I just kind of passed it on in front of him, and I saw him dip down. Got one. Got one. Yes. I've never caught a fish on this side. <laughs> it's a crappie. Yo, multi-species day, baby. There we go. It catches everything. Nice little crappie guy. Awesome. Whoop. <laughs> Oh gosh. Yes. Oh no. He came off. Dead gum. <laughs> that guy was fun. That guy was real fun. Check that out. He pulled this thing way down. See the wind changing. I can see the trees moving. I can see the sun moving. I think I'm losing my bite window in this spot. They seem to all be right here where the shadow is. Got him that time. Got him that time. Yeah, buddy. He ain't getting away. Got him that time. Hooked him real good. Come here, buddy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Calm down. Calm down. We'll get you unhooked. A little dinky. Probably the smallest we've caught today. And these are the ones that we normally catch. This guy was aggressive. He was feeding. Let's put him back. Oof. Yep, yep, yep. Another one. Ooh, buddy. Largy on that one. So aggressive. Calm down, buddy. There we go. Got him. Whoo! This thing. This thing is doing some work, man. Check that out. Like, this is great. This is amazing. 
man if you want to catch fish like this you need to get yourself a pack of these it comes in a bunch of colors your standard green pumpkin uh ranch hand it also comes in black and blue comes in that clown color get yourself a pack of these it's gonna be great link in the description down below i will catch you guys on the next one